In May 2023, a significant food safety lapse led to over a hundred cases of illness across several MindChamps preschools in Singapore. The incident unfolded after food was supplied by a local caterer, Nosh Cuisine, which resulted in 107 individuals falling ill. The Singapore Food Agency, or SFA, confirmed this unfortunate incident on October 16, following its investigation. From May 22 to May 29, 2023, reports of gastroenteritis came from eight MindChamps preschools, with a combined total of 96 children and 11 staff members suffering from symptoms. Gastroenteritis is a condition that causes inflammation of the stomach and intestines, typically leading to symptoms such as vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramps. This outbreak resulted in eight individuals requiring hospitalization, though, fortunately, they have since been discharged. The preschools impacted by the outbreak were located in Bishan, Changi Airport, and Tanglin. The authorities conducted a thorough investigation, and it was found that Nosh Cuisine had failed to uphold the required standards of cleanliness at their food preparation premises. As a result, the SFA promptly suspended the operations of Nosh Cuisine to prevent further harm. A joint inspection of Nosh Cuisine's premises by officers from SFA and the Ministry of Health revealed unacceptable conditions that contributed to the outbreak. As part of their enforcement, the SFA imposed corrective measures on Nosh Cuisine before allowing them to resume business. On July 27, 2023, the suspension was officially lifted after the company demonstrated full compliance with food safety regulations. Nosh Cuisine has been fined $1,200 Singapore dollars for their food safety lapse. Under Singapore's strict food safety laws, those found guilty of such offences can face fines of up to 2,000 Singapore dollars, and in cases of continued non-compliance, an additional fine of 100 Singapore dollars for each day the violation persists after conviction. This situation serves as a crucial reminder of the importance of food hygiene and safety protocols in food-related businesses, particularly those serving vulnerable populations such as children. As we reflect on this event, we should consider the broader implications of food safety in our daily lives. Should there be stricter regulations and oversight to prevent such incidents in the future? How can we, as consumers, better protect ourselves from potential foodborne illnesses? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe food suppliers should face harsher penalties for endangering public health? And what steps do you think should be implemented to ensure food safety in our community? If you found this coverage informative, please like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, 2230, for more in-depth news stories. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads, and let us know your thoughts in the comments.